we're going on an adventure. Yeah, um, we heard about this road that could possibly lead into Arches. So we're just gonna go down a dirt road for quite a ways and see where it leads. Where we're parked, Arches is directly that way. So we're gonna give it a go. So we've been driving on this dirt road for 20 minutes and it's so beautiful but it seemingly goes nowhere. Um, there's a little blank spot on our offline maps so we can't tell if the road actually connects or not. Um, so we're at a debate point right now of trying to decide if we're gonna keep going or not. What do you think? Should we keep going? No clue where it's going but it's so beautiful. We can still turn around, so yeah. We can always turn around. Yeah. I think we should keep going. Okay. The road to nowhere. Oh, there's a sign. What's gonna happen? It looks open. It does look open. to be a proper entrance. This is way more official than I expected. We did it. We uh, found a back way into Arches. I guess we're in the National Park and we do have our National Park pass with <laughs> us. So we are official. Legal, and official. Let's see where this road takes us into the park. I wonder if it connects to is the actual road. Is it dirt the road way? Or, or, yeah, yeah, is it dead end somewhere into the park that you can't get to anywhere else? It says all types of off-highway vehicles prohibited, but that's all it says. Stay on the roadway. We let's, can do that. Let's do it. campsite to here it has been 45 minutes on the dot not too bad because it would have taken us 30 minutes to drive down to the entrance of arches anyway and then would have had to wait in line if we could have even got in arches so we're starting at the end of the like paved road part of the park and we're gonna hike to the landscape arch let's see what this thing is the rain and wind is making this fun <laughs> it's a little gloomy <laughs> But it's still really beautiful, and I think it's holding some tourists back. Yep. Okay, landscape arch is here, and we're getting a little sneak peek of what I think is the double O, but we can only see one of them right now. So we're going to go investigate that. Jameson's going to look at the rock. I love sandstone. It's so pretty. Nobody's up there. Well, 
landscape arch all to ourselves right now in this rainy morning. It's quite cool. Pretty cool. Like Yellowstone. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got up early and beat the crowds in the rain. So our national park advice is go in the rain. <laughs> no, early. <laughs> Kind of like a magic eye, I don't know if you'll be able to see. This is the bottom of the top So we're gonna choose the more difficult route? Yes, please. This is looking like canyon lands right now. I get why they call it private arch. It's kind of like hidden back here. Well, the sun came out. Yep. And we had a great hike on the trail from Landscape Arch to the Double O. Yep. And then we chose to come back on the Primitive Trail. Yeah, so we did the big loop back there. It was quite nice. Yeah, lots of like scrambling over big rocks and a little bit of navigation. It was fun. Yep. And All now right. the sun's out, so. We're over at Delicate Arch and we're gonna go with everyone to see the most iconic arch of this park. Yes. And of Utah, probably. And it, surprisingly, the parking lot is not full. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it took us all morning to do this big hike we just finished. Um, so it's about noon and the parking lot wasn't full. So I don't know if the morning rains just kind of- Kept everyone away. Kept everybody away, yeah. Here we go. Almost a uh, delicate arch. See it. Almost there. <laughs> yeah. We were here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This campsite might have just gone from like an eight to a 10 with this cool backdoor access. Yeah, it's uh, like a 30 to 40 minute drive 
from our site into Arches, and you basically get uh, dropped into the very back of Arches National Park. Yeah. So you're right by the landscape arch, and some of the you're in between landscape and delicate is basically where it drops you off. So yeah, we got to go do both of those, which were on our list. That's perfect. So thanks for coming with us. Hope you enjoyed the journey that we took. Have a great day. See you next time.